Today on Archery Thursday, we learn how to get the best out of your hunt. What's up guys, I am Zach and welcome back to this week's Archery Thursday. Thank you for sticking around. Now, the weather lately has been perfect for hunting so I figured I better get this out there before time runs out. So today on Archery Thursday, as I said, we're going to be talking about how to get the best out of your hunt. How to get as close as you can to your animal and not miss. So without further ado, let's give some insight on how to get the best out of your hunt. So the first way to get the best out of your hunt is to know your animal. What are their strengths? What are their weaknesses? For example, with goats, they've got good sight and they've got good smell. But there is an easy way to creep up on them as they're not really into their listening as much. Whereas if you were going for rabbits, they got really good hearing and really good sight. That's why you go from a range and basically stake them out. So yeah, just make sure you know your animal before you go hunting. Number two is to know your environment. Remember, they're gonna know the environment you're hunting in a lot better than you do. So nothing beats a good old fashioned, you know, look at what you're hunting on. Go out a week earlier before you go on your hunt and stake out the place. Just look at the environment, make sure you know where the ridges are, where some creeks are, all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, just know your environment. Um, whether you're hunting in Rocky Mountains or plains or stuff like that, you're gonna need to know those things, otherwise you're just going unprepared. And like I said, these animals live there, so they're gonna know the environment a lot better than you do. Um, so you're going to be very unprepared and they're just going to get the drop on you pretty easily. They're going to be able to see you, they're going to be able to hear you, smell you, and they're just going to run off and you're going to ruin your hunt. Yeah, what was number three? So number three was to be prepared. So when I'm talking about that, I mean um, make sure you are ready the night before. Have your bow, have your arrow. Gun, if you're using your gun, have your gun, have your ammo ready, or in your case, but just make sure you know where everything is so you can just pick it up in the morning and go. I'm also talking about what you have in your backpack. So in my backpack, I have a camel pack, so I have water. I also make sure I always take my knife in case I want to take a bit of meat home or a skin, something like that. You always have a first aid kit with you because you never know what's going to happen while you're out there. You always have compass, matches, um, things like that just in case you do get stuck out there. You don't want to end up in these situations just wondering what to do. Prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Another thing I'd advise when you're just learning how to hunt is to take an experienced hunter with you. They're going to know the layout of the land, they're going to know the animals and they're going to be able to teach you how to track, how to stalk, how to be a good hunter. Also, they'll be able to watch your back just in case something does happen. Um, for example, you know, you break your leg, get bitten by a snake or something like that. They'll be able to take you to hospital and just look after you. So it's always good to have an experienced hunter with you when you're just learning how to hunt. And the number one thing for getting the best out of your hunt is to not miss. Don't miss. I know it sounds sort of a given, but um, practicing with your bow and making sure that you get every shot on your mark is really key for hunting. It's going to make every hunt better if you get an animal every hunt and don't miss. I mean, every, every hunter does miss, but you can narrow that margin of missing the more practice you get. Another good thing is to practice at different ranges and shooting from different spots. A good thing I do um, when I'm practicing is I'll stand by my target, I'll pick up a rock and I'll throw the rock. Wherever the rock lands, I'll shoot from. So I'll try and rebound it off the surfaces, I'll just throw it wherever, shoot from that spot and that range um, and that's the best way you can get better at shooting from different ranges and different spots because if you shoot from the same spot, the same range, 
Um, that's never going to work out when you're hunting because every hunt's different, every animal is different. Sometimes you get a bit closer to an animal, sometimes you get a bit far away. So just practice at every range, every distance, um, and every spot. And also make sure you don't just stand there and shoot, you know, because chances are if you're hunting, say, goats, they're going to be in a fairly rocky country, so you're probably not going to be shooting from a level ground or um, maybe just from, you know, just random dirt. You might have to stand up on a rock or something like that. So just make sure you practice um, with your bow just from different stances as well, sitting down, um, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. And that was how to get the best out of your hunt. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this Archery Thursday. So, like I said, they're going to be coming out bi-weekly. Um, and so, on that's going to be on Thursdays. On Tuesdays and the other Thursdays, you're going to see stuff like vlogs, gaming, uh, music stuff. All the good stuff. Um, I apologise that I didn't upload on Tuesday. I did have a video filmed and ready, but the footage got corrupted because screw you technology. Anyway, like I said, like, subscribe and all that other stuff and I hope you guys have a good rest of the week.